So today we're going to be talking about the Division 2 and where have the Division 2 devs been? They've been completely quiet. I know they usually have holiday break, but I think it has more to do with the seasonal manhunt. Right now we're going to be taking care of the death squad and that is Magnus. So we're going to be going after Magnus. It's part of Fei Lao, the prime target. And if you guys don't know, that prime target will be available in a little over two weeks. So I think it's like two weeks in like two days or three days. So a little over two weeks, that target will be live. And I'm not sure if maybe they're not going to release us any information if they're having a year three, if there's a division three, until we actually see what happens to fail out. Because there's a lot of rumors, a lot of speculation going on with the division two, right? There's a lot going on. And my biggest concern is is maybe they don't want to spoil anything for us. Now, I've seen some leaks here and there, and I would never show you any kind of spoilers like that on this channel just because I'd rather, if you guys want to find those out yourself, you'll you'll do the research. But there have been some leaks, some rumors about what happens to Fei Lao at the end of this season. And if true, that could be a reason why the devs have actually stayed really quiet. They don't want to leak anything. They don't want to confirm anything. They don't want to even give us any hint on what year three would be. Or if there is a division three, they don't want us to give us any hint on division three. I personally think that year three is more likely than another division, at least right now. Um, I just feel like year three, especially with how much work they're doing with putting 12.1, which 12.1 will give us that next gen um, upgrade, right? So we'll get that 4K at 60 frames per second. And I don't know what 1080p will be, but I know you'll get 4K at 60 frames on PS5 and the new Xbox. So with that being said, them not them staying quiet, we know that Fei Lao is a prime target. She's probably going to be one of the biggest bad guys that we ever had to encounter. Maybe the way this all ends really could be spoilers for us for the future or... Maybe they don't want to just like give us any hints at anything because of the um, prime target. Now, I'm about to be finished with mine. You can see that we're, we're, we're working on it right now. I'm really excited for what happens with Fei Lao. That's the main reason why I'm doing this. I want to know what's going to happen with her because I feel like that all really gives us the clues that we need. Gives us really the, the future for the division because Fei Lao's always been a part of us, right? It's always been a part of the division. She was one of the first characters that we met in Division 1. And now she's a villain, right? She's She was supposed to be on our team. She turned rogue. And it's all changed. So I don't know if we'll end up killing her. You guys know that the past bounties, the past manhunts, we've killed every single one of them. And she's one of them. So if history repeats itself, this could be the last time that we see her. But maybe she does. Maybe she gets away, right? Maybe she gets away. Maybe something happens um, that really develops the story overall. Maybe we capture her. Um, she surrenders. Who knows what's gonna happen with her? And that's the bigger question. Like that could really lead up to um, the future. And there's just a few other characters that are out there. If you guys been keeping track of the story, that we don't really know too much about, and we don't know what happened to them. They were villains before, so. There's a lot of unanswered questions in the division right now that I feel that there is something for them to build a story around, but it all really depends on Fei Lao, and I think that's really where we can see the devs coming out and saying something. I personally hope that we do get a state of the game, um, but I think if we do get a state of the game, even if we get one on Wednesday, right? Even if we get a state of the game on Wednesday, which they, they haven't even announced one, so it looks like we might not even get one, it's probably just going to be talking about the Resident Evil crossover event, right? Because that's scheduled to come out on um, February 2nd. So with that happening, with the Division 2 manhunt all wrapping up around the same time, it just really makes sense. Like, um, we'll have that crossover event for almost a week. And then once that week happens, then that's when the bounty is going to come live. And that's when we'll be able to really see what happens with Fei Lao. I just wish that maybe the devs could come up with a way with, without spoiling anything. If there is a future, um, give us clues. Like, just give us, like, something that, hey, look, we are working on something. We do have something planned. And I know a lot of that really is 
um, above their pay grade, right? Usually that's from the head honchos up top of the studios and they'll tell them when they can say stuff, when they can't say stuff. Um, and maybe they just really want to be a surprise with this. I, I know they've been really quiet lately and usually when we hear nothing, just like what you heard from Warlords in New York, right? It got kind of quiet for a little bit. I don't really think that there's something as big as Warlords in New York coming, honestly. I think if there is, it's not coming in March. And we honestly might not hear anything about it soon. So um, I know a lot of people complain when they have State of the Games and they don't have a lot of information to tell us. But I think telling us that they're working on something big might be kind of good. Or, hey, we have something in store or we have something planned. If they could at least give us that, that would be kind of cool. But it's, it's just we really don't know what's happening and we don't know if the future of the division two is bright we just know that Fallout is our target and once we take her down um if we do end up killing her is that the end of the division right because that could really wrap up the story or do we go off um who's above her who who was head, who's in charge of her maybe there's somebody out there and there still is Different ways they can swing this, but at the end of the day, Fei Lao was one of our go-tos. She went rogue, and then now we're back here in this situation hunting her down. I don't know. What do you guys think about this whole situation? What do you think was going on with the devs? Why they've been so quiet? Um, if we don't have a state of the game this Wednesday, then I don't know what to tell you guys. Maybe we won't hear it until after Fei Lao, but if we do have one this Wednesday, don't worry. I'll be covering it, um, and I'll be right here with you guys trying to figure out what is going on with them and what do they have in store for us because hopefully during that state of the game they tell us a lot more than just this um new crossover event that's going to be happening which isn't bad it's it's cool it's a cool cool idea a cool apparel event but they could have made the event a lot better and that reanimated global event well if you guys didn't play it well you guys might enjoy it i'll leave that up to you guys i'm not gonna say anything about it but i will tell you guys that the apparel event was cool, but I think they could have done a little bit more. And I think if this was the original idea of us going to Kenley College, that would have been so cool. Because I imagine they probably had something in store. But hey, they could have they could have said, hey, you know what? Let's not focus on this event. Why don't we focus on something for the game itself? So maybe we'll get some big game mode. And I'm still hopeful for maybe getting um, Survival one day. If they bring Survival to the Division 2 ever, I'm sure a lot of people would be on board because I think it's great. It's great. Um, it's a lot of fun in solo or group play, and it's just fun to go out there, and that would be cool. But that's enough ranting here. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget, guys, leaving a thumbs up is always helpful. Commenting down below what you guys think about the situation that we have right now is always useful for not only me, but for people who read the comments. But yeah, I'll see you guys again. Until the next one, nothing but skills out. <laughs>